Morning boys, welcome to another Friday workout. Today, for the next few weeks, we're gonna do some Friday fitness sessions. So I'll show you a few little exercises we can do. We're gonna do a warm up, some resistance band work, something called plyometrics, just some running some fitness to get you nice and fit during this period. So we're gonna get into this session. Let's go. Okay, so you've now done some um, dynamic stretches. Now we're going to go into some resistance band work. Okay, so when you're doing this, try to do 10 reps of each exercise. And I'll leave a little description down at the bottom how you actually do those exercises. Okay, so we've now done the dynamic stretches, resistance bands. We're now going to go into like, some pulse races. We'll do some little sprints. I've sent out some 10 meter, 20 meter, and 30 meter marks. We're going to do some little sprints, some skater jumps, just to get make sure your heart's pumping, your heart rate's up, and then we're ready to go on and move on with the session. Okay, so now you've done warm-ups, you've done your dynamics, stretches, 
your pulse rises, so now it should be ready to go. So we're gonna move on and do some plyometrics. metrics. So plyometrics metrics can be used to increase your speed, increase the pain legs, and also if you wanna lose some weight, burn some extra fat, can be used as a calorie burner. So I'm gonna show you through four different exercises. These exercises can be quite difficult, so I will show you a way to make them easy if you're struggling. We're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna rest for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do three sets of each exercise. So I'm going to show you what they are and I'll also show you how you can make them a bit easier if you are struggling. When I look back to before we were together There was no pressure, no pain, just pleasure We were young, you took my breath and filled your lungs up I held my tongue in, swept up all your poison You can hide that light, I need rescue in your walk Okay boys, so that's the parametrics time. There should be three key things I need to focus on. Quality, not quantity. So using your arms, and the third thing is focusing on your landing. So the first thing, quality, not quantity, is make sure you're getting the technique right. If you're struggling because the exercises are quite hard, do the easier version. You're better to do 30 seconds of really good quality than 30 seconds of really poor quality. The second thing, using your arms, it's so important that when you're running, use your arms to drive your So when you're doing these exercises, use your arms to generate that power. If you don't use your arms, you're gonna struggle. And the third thing is focusing on your landing, especially when you're doing the skater jumps, you jump from side to side, try to stick your landing, try not to wobble. If it means you take a little bit longer, you land properly and you jump off, it'd be more beneficial and you've got less chances of causing yourself an injury. So now we're gonna move on just to a little bit of sprint work, just a little bit of fitness to finish, so a little bit of intervals we'd say, and then we will be done. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit of fitness, it's gonna be a little bit of sprint work. So just like the warm up, there's a 10 meter cone, 20 meter cone and 30 meter cone. So you're gonna do some sprints. You're gonna go from a start position to the 10 meters and back. You're gonna have a 10 second rest. You're then gonna to sprint to the 20 meter cone and back, 20 second rest, then to the 30 meter cone and back, 30 second rest. That's one set. Once you've rested the 30 seconds, you start again and do the exact same process, okay? So we're gonna do three sets of that. Make sure you get your rest in between. Try and keep track of your times, okay? And we're gonna talk through it. Okay boys, so that's just the fitness done for that. The session's now done. One thing I want you to focus on is that when you're changing direction, I want you to imagine as if you're driving a car. So when you're turning, take small steps and put your foot slowly on the brakes. If you're driving a car and see someone slam their foot on the brakes, it probably means they're going too far so they're not watching what they're doing and they either crash into somebody. So same thing with this. If you take smaller steps, you reduce your chance of injury and it's easier for you to turn. If you slam your foot down, slam your foot on the brakes and try to turn in one big step, there's a good chance you've injured your, your ankle, your knees, your hips, any of your joints. So make sure small steps to turn and really drive off from that. And that is the session done. It's pouring now with rain. I'm soaking. I think it's going to start thunder and lightning too. So I want to get home. So well done. Your first Friday fitness session. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're keeping well, boys. And I'll see you next week for the second fitness session. Well done, boys.